Okay, here is a good way to think about it. Are you guys ready for me to tell you the possible thought processes? Here is one. Let's try to identify what's bothering us. If this was just the square root of x plus 1, could we do it? Yeah, what will the answer be? This quantity, it's right now to the 1 half, so it's pure power law. You add 1 to the power, it becomes x plus 1 to the 3 halves. Ah, make up for it with 2 thirds. Okay, so that wouldn't bother you, right, if, this, if it was just the square root. Okay, what if this plus 1 was in here? What if it was just x times square root of x? Could you do that? Because this is just x to the 3 halves. That's all this is. It's x times x to the 1 half, so it's x to the 3 halves. And now it's pure power law. This will go to x to the 5 halves. And then you have to make up for it by putting in 2 fifths. So this would mess you up. What's really messing you up is that one is shifted and the other one is not. You agree with me? Okay, so to combat it, let's just shift this one too. Because shifts you can usually make up for. So we'll just make it something that we can deal with. So I'm going to replace this x with x plus 1. Now that by itself is not a valid operation, so I'll have to make up for it. Now I have something I can integrate rather easily, but that's not equivalent to this. Because I essentially, when I really look at this, by the distributive law, what I've done was throw in an extra term like this, right? Because when I were, if I were to multiply this out, I would have this plus this guy, right? So to make up for what I've done, I have to subtract x plus 1. And now the expression that I have is equivalent to what I started out with. And now this integral is wide open because it consists of two things that we just discussed we were able to do. Right? This is just this quantity to the power of 3 halves. So it ends up being, I just remembered from a minute ago, minus, well that's just what we discussed a moment ago when we were talking about the square root of x by itself except it's now innocently shifted by plus 1, so that doesn't change anything. So 2 thirds plus C, 